yeah, well, it's ride time. You know, I charged the battery two nights ago and just never got around to, to riding the bike. I did do a couple of spins around the block to pull a little bit of voltage off it because I wasn't sure when I'd be able to ride again. Uh, thank you, Toyota, right there, that thing right there for having the battery die on me. So I had to do that yesterday. I did manage to clean this garage up a little bit on this side because I just had so much crap packing in here. I started to feel like I was gonna star on hoarders. And so we got that done. So needless to say, didn't get to ride, but we're gonna remedy that problem right now. Let me show you guys something else. You wanna get your doodads and crap from Amazon. Plan on this stuff happening. Plan on repairing cheap $1.99 crap. Uh, I'm gonna have to get another pair, but this time I'm gonna go to an actual biker supply as a motorcycle supply house to get my glasses. I recommend you do the same uh, or carry extras with you. So that's your helpful hint for today. Without further ado, let's hit the road. All right, so here we are. We made it to what uh, I consider kind of new ground for you guys. Oh. Oh, believe me, if I keep filming, we're going to repeat some of that stuff, but we don't want to step into reruns yet. But as you can see right there, it took me six miles to get to this point, and we are at 65 volts. So we used 1.1 volts uh, using a uh, pedal assist one mostly. I, I had actually throttled it to get past some people. And uh, so believe it or not, man, I got this thing all the way down to like 16 miles an hour. Oh, absolute torture, my friends. But uh, this is not going to be a real fast trail. And the reason it's not fast, it has a lot of U's in it. A lot of U-turns in it, or, 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 or U-curves, I should say. So you can't just keep it rocked. And, you know, it's about, what, 10 o'clock or something? So we're getting close out to this retirement place called Sun City, and there's a lot of retirees out riding. I don't want to hurt anybody. Remember, we're good stewards here, even though we're kind of kind of thrill seekers. But uh, so that's the plan. So we're just going to go for a ride and just see what happens. So um, get a drink, put your seatbelt on, whatever you got to do, um, or just hit the back button and start over with some other YouTuber that's got some value and go from there. Yeah, it's kind of that same... It's kind of a branch of the other one we did. Like I said, fast, fast bike, fast trail, whatever I called it. Hell, I don't even remember what I named these videos. Kind of nice little enclave here. You can hang out at night and do whatever it is you're into. Police probably won't harass you. All these crazy drugs people are into these days. I'm just like, man. It's kind of a, just your typical suburban enclave uh, that you would find in the Phoenix metropolitan area. It does not stand out above or below anything else around here. I may have bought a house here, but when I bought my house, this didn't even exist. This was all desert. If anything, we'd come out here and ride ATVs, things of that nature, dirt bikes. for a second let's hit the turbo button folks i'm in a good mood today i'm not gonna pick on the 48 volt brigade i'm gonna behave myself you know be a nice guy because really i'm a nice guy oh let's go down this way oh oh there we go No, I try to be a nice guy. I just like to have fun. That's all, guys. Some of you take me too seriously. Some of your comments are so chock full of hate and vitriol, they're getting caught up in the, uh, the comment filter. Been a while since I've been up here. I have to remember how to get back to the trail. And I believe I go like this. No, I don't. I'm going the wrong way. That's okay. Because guess where our destination is? Nowhere. It's about the ride, not the destination. Because there is no destination. Now, I got to kind of watch my power because I don't know what the range is on this, especially with my riding style. My riding style, you can pretty much assume it's pretty low. So I've really got to watch myself here. 
I know, no fun for you. You know, I should have like a GPS phone mount or something on here. Uh, so I could actually tell where I'm at and I can figure out which road I need to be on to get back to the trailhead. But uh, I'm just, I'm kind of one of those, I'm not anti-tech by any means. It just, I don't live on my phone, guys. I don't, I mean, look me up on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or Tweet Talk X. You're not going to find me unless somebody's impersonating me. If they are, man, I tell you what, I'm flattered. I don't see why you'd waste your time doing that, but I'm not on that stuff. Uh, I'm not a real big texter. I'd rather just I'll talk to you when I'm seeing you, talk to you when I'm looking at you. So I don't have my phone attached to me at all times. I'm not stuck on it. I'll tell you this much, it's a good way to live. I see a lot of people on like social media and I mean Facegram and Instabook mostly. And they're always on it. And I just don't get the feeling they're that happy. I just don't think they're that happy watching other people. It's like, I always say you never find happiness counting other people's money. You won't. And if you do, you probably need to get uh, some psychotherapy. See, this is why I can't haul too much, but I'm gonna go down this way. But uh, I do like YouTube because YouTube, you can kind of present yourself as you are. Although, you know, you can fake it too. And you know, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of problem with my YouTube feeds lately. Uh, I'm just getting tired of all, I mean, I guess it makes sense algorithmically, but I'm getting tired of all the popular people. I want to see the nobodies because a lot of the popular people, let's face it, they're driven by money, uh, sponsored. There's a, uh, you know, subtle product placement, things of that nature. I just like, I like seeing other people do things. And usually your guys that uh, or girls that are doing kind of their own thing, they don't stick to one theme. They're just like, they point and shoot, uh, upload it, call it a day. Not a lot of editing, you know, no intros, forget that. Uh, I don't do intros. I'm not going to do intros. I'll do an outro. I just throw a little bebop at you as an outro, but that's it. Uh, but those are the channels I'm looking for. And so it's like, you've got to kind of look high and low to find them. You know, they don't readily show them in your face as you're, as you pull up your feed that first, you know, as you grab that first cup of, cup of coffee, you know, like, oh, not this guy again. I didn't want to see you last time. So then you got to right click. So they don't show this channel again. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that because you're probably doing it to, to my channel. And if you haven't, you probably will at the end of this video, if not halfway through it. But that's what I like to see, guys. You know, you, you, if you film an e-bike video and, and show, me do, show me you doing something else. Let me see you tinkering around the garage. You know, let me see you fighting to get your, get your tractor or lawnmower running. I don't know. I know the algorithm doesn't like it, but that's the kind of stuff I dig, you know? Kind of shows, it shows me that you're not there just to pimp, right? You're not there to pimp. Yeah, as you can tell, this is just, this is not a real fast. You just wouldn't want to go fast here. Even if it was guaranteed free of humans, uh, these knobby tires, he, while we're talking about let me talk about tires for a minute. You think you'll get this false sense of security thinking, oh, I got four inch wide tires. That means I can really hug the trail and lean this baby over and we're just gonna grip it and rip it. Let me tell you, no, you're not. These tires, I tell you, I think will slide out in a New York minute and I've had it happen. I actually captured one on film and if I think of it, I'll load it up right now. but it will wash out on you. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't get in that false sense of security. You know, they're lower inflated, so you think you're getting a better contact patch. I'm telling you, that may be the case if you're running a uh, running a bald tire or street tire. Oh, pickleball. But as far as these knobbies, please do not do that. You're gonna wind up 
wrecking, getting hurt. Insurance companies are going to start lobbying against us. And I've never played pickleball before. It looks pretty easy. <laughs> I, I, I know it's probably not easy. I just said that just because it kind of does look easy. Ah, let's go over here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, watch them tires just to close out that last segment. Now, this is a skate park, and I'm not allowed in here. And it's a good thing, because I would actually go in there and try to do some complete flips. You got to respect these biker gang types, because they, they will not hesitate at dropping their kickstands, and you are going to get mauled. Yeah, there's a little bit of activity out here today. And I, I, did I tell you the day? Today's Thursday, right? Yeah, I told you Thursday. Yeah, I gave you the time. I'm repeating myself. Oh, don't worry. As I get older, that's going to happen more and more and more and more and more and more. Times infinity. This is like some sort of recreational center. I don't go here. I mean, I'm riding around in my recreational center right now. <laughs> I tell you, I'd rather be a member of this club than some other club. I've never been real good at fitting in. I've never been real good at uh, being a joiner. I'm not a good joiner, man. I'm more of a solo artist, I guess you could say. That's just where my comfort level is. And who knows, you know, Look, there's a time to be uncomfortable in life when you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, but, you know, joining a club or something like that, that's just not my deal. Comfort zone, you know, uh, I'll go on a solo off-road trip on my forerunner out in the middle of nowhere and hope to gosh I can make it back. That's getting out of my comfort zone. I got a blind corner here. You got to be careful, man. Listen, we give you safety tips around here. You know, people think we're just these, you know, these ruffians out here in these bikes. First of all, I'm too old to be a ruffian, and you're probably too young to know what a ruffian is. So we'll just call it quits on that subject. This guy, he's, oh, he doesn't have any. Sometimes he's got some really cool old cars. There's one station wagon. I don't know if that's cool factors really percolating, but. We used to have a bunch of cool old cars that long, all, all its, uh, all its um, siblings all went to the Crusher. Remember when Obama, I think, did that Cash for Clunkers thing? Man, Cash for Clunkers killed a lot of cool metal, man. Such a shame. But uh, drove up the value of those who held on to what they had. All right, see where we're at numerically, 10.4 miles. And as I coast, voltage shag's coming up, it's coming up. Come on, keep going, baby, keep going. 63.67, 67. So that's not bad, 10.5 miles. Uh, not bad, but of course we still remember, we had to suffer through the boredom of uh, 16 to 20 miles an hour. And I can tell you, if you're like me, if you're wired semi like me, no pun intended wired, um, uh, that's some real suffering for you. I mean, that's, that's, you talk about getting out of your comfort zone, that right there is it. Go down this way. See, another 180. We're gonna do another 180 down here. That bag of trash. You know what? I should go off on a tangent about that, but they put it in a bag. I mean, they are meeting us halfway, guys. I don't know. In today's society, if you can get a halfway, -er, you're doing good. Meeting us halfway. They, they litter, but they put it all in one package. I dig it. I respect it. We'll take what we can get. I was going to go back down that way, but eh, it's kind of boring. 
I mean, not that this isn't, right? I mean, come on, wake up, you. I'm probably asleep already. No, I'll give you more credit than that. You probably just hit the back button. Go look for something else. Oh. I've got a little announcement to make, but I'm not sure if I want to do it right now or not. It's kind of a big one. Oh, screw it. I'll just tell you. Right now, if you go, if you want, if you decide you want a wired freedom, if you go to order one and you put RLR1 in the coupon code at checkout right now, and it's for a short time only. I don't know how long it's going to last. You may want to jump on it, but right now, Wired will double the price of the bike. There's no other obligations to you. RLR1, double the price of the bike for you. Nothing else you have to do. It's a short time, so if you want to get one, this might be the time to go for it. And that's about the only endorsement we're going to do for now. And uh, I hope that helps you out and hope that motivates you to maybe get out and get a little thrill in your life. Oh, there's all his cars. He's got them behind that this kind of green fence. Tons of them. You know, that's cool, but man, that would just drive me ape shit. I can't have junk cars laying around, man, unless they're somehow bringing me money. And that, and that may be very well what he's doing, you know, parting them out. But man, I, I don't like cars laying around my property that don't run. I don't like cars that leak. I don't, I don't even like dirty engines. I know, is that... Is that pretty Nazi of me? I just, I don't even like dirty engines. I clean my engines. All of them. Even the wife's little Lee Clips turbo ship box. I keep that thing looking as good as I can. Now going back to what I said in videos before. Spent a lot of time doing things I didn't want to do to earn that money to pay for these things. And by golly, for as long as I'm alive, we're going to curate them and we're going to enjoy them. I see so many people who don't really make that much money. They go out and manage to finagle a car, a new car, and five years later, the thing's got like the quarter panel dented in and one headlight falling out, windshield cracked, and then the dang side mirror just hanging by the wire that's used to adjust it. I just think that my, I just, I don't get it. I don't. Maybe you feel the same way. But it's about respecting your time. Hello. Hey there. It's about respecting your time. Now, you know, if you're rich, hey, you know, whatever, knock yourself out. You know, have some ghetto 200 meter yacht parked over there in Marseille, if that's your thing, whatever. But, you know, take care of your stuff, folks. Especially if you got to go out and do things five days a week, four days a week, things you just really, you could think of other things you'd rather do with your time. I know I get a little preachy, don't I? But that's just what I'm going to do on this channel. We can't sit and talk about this bike all the time, can we? Uh, see that? Stay out when flooded. Now, I'm glad I saw that because, you know, I've been throwing it around in my mind to come in here when it's like, you know, eight feet deep and just see what we can do. But now that I saw that sign, hell, I think it's changed my life, if not saved it. Well, clear this way. All right. You know, I've been talking for a while now and I have not even checked my camera. If it is off, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> yeah, you better be on. Uh, let's go. Let's go down this way. Yeah, weather here is really good. Um, we put up with absolutely absolutely brutal summers here where we live um most people they just they just can't take it um 
I've been here since 1976. Yes, yes, we had electricity back then. Stop with the, the stupid comments. I've been here since 76, so I'm kind of a, yeah, accustomed to it. In fact, you gave me a choice. Ride in 108 degree heat or ride in 48 degree? Oh, give me, give me the 108. Hey, I'll, I'll do you better. Give me 112. I'll do that all day long. going against the wind right now both physically and metaphorically up seven foot clearance up here we have to duck our heads this wired's a pretty tall bike oh we should be okay no closed head injuries here Oh, 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 got us. Hey, hey, hey. Good steward time, guys. Good steward. You know what good steward means? It means acting right, and it means boring the absolute piss out of you, the viewer. For me, ah, it's kind of a short and fried thing. I kind of I think I enjoy your suffering. I just, <laughs> just I, feel the, I feel your pain. Anyway, guys, we've seen pretty much most of this run. I think I'm just out of material to talk about right now. It's not like you're asking me any questions. You know, I'm sitting here doing all the talking. I, you, you haven't said a peep. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. And if you're still watching, if you're still watching this far, you know I appreciate it. Not like we're going anywhere. It's not like this is gonna be some commercial powerhouse uh, of a channel. But, uh, you know, you're watching me just do nothing but goof around. And uh, thank you. So, hey, we will talk to you again soon. Take care.